Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about how I made this uh, plush rabbit from Schoolhouse Rock. It's like um, that old uh, cartoon about learning stuff that came out in the 70s. Singing and dancing, that's my game. I never did a whole day's work in my life, still everything seemed to turn out right. So yeah, I made him for a friend because she really likes this character. I started out with a sketch just to make sure that I kind of had an idea of how big I wanted him to turn out. So I just used a big piece of paper and I sketched him out on the paper. So as far as making the head goes, I used four like oval shaped pieces of fabric and I cut them out. And then I sewed two together and then I sewed the other two together and then I sewed all four together. Doodly doo, here's me sewing really fast. I don't want to find a song because I'm lazy. La la. And that might not make a whole lot of sense, but I didn't have a whole lot of video footage, unfortunately, of the process of me making this. So we'll just have to make do with what I can explain. And his ears are just two pieces of fabric sewn together. And the same goes for the other one. And then I just attached them to the head with the ladder stitch. Uh, and then he has like these little details on his head, like two little pieces of hair that I sewed in. And they're just simple little pieces of thread. Same for the whiskers. And then I, I sewed his mouth in with um, a thread and needle, of course. And in order to like really emphasize the mouth, I kind of had to color with a um, little black marker just to make it stand out a little bit more and his clothes his clothes were kind of difficult to make but yeah he's got these nice little pants and there's some little pockets on here I don't have any footage of me making the, the pants and shirt unfortunately but um, he's got that little seven on his foot because he's lucky seven rabbit lucky seven is my natural name and yeah he's got his little tail <laughs> in order to in order to show like his fingers like you can kind of see how his fingers have a little bit of definition in them you just kind of like use a needle and thread and poke through and then you poke through the bottom of the hand and then poke back through the bottom of the hand to back to the top and then wrap it around the hand to make it to where the finger is kind of like a bump rather than just a floppy little nub you know so that's a fun technique that I try to use when making hands and little feet, toes as well. The, um, the bottom of his foot is cardboard, so it's kind of hard and flat. And surprisingly for this right here, I just used Elmer's glue and it worked great. So that was, that was really interesting. I had never done that before. But yeah, I just glued that piece of fabric on and that little that little pattern just stayed right on his face. Um, and his little eyes, I just poked those through the fabric and hot glued around the edge so that they would stay. And they look pretty good, his cute little eyes. His whiskers tend to try to stick together a lot, but that's okay, you just gotta fix him up a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. There he is. <laughs> Look at these hips. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I did not mean for him to be this thick. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed these little tips that I gave for making a stuffed animal. His like a stuffed animal rabbit like this guy. But his pants keep trying to fall down. That's one of the things about him that did not turn out too great. His his pants, they just don't fit him very well. I'm still trying to get better at making clothes, but yeah, it's always a learning process. So yeah, I hope you have a good day, rest of your day, good evening, whatever, whatever time of day it is. So see you later.